Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It's good to be back. Uh, We're here with quick hits. Uh, We're going to get into the undercard portion. I just did a show on on the main card, on the the main events. Uh, Now we're going to get into the undercard portion. There were a pair of balls that shined in the UK today on each card. Um, I had never heard of Danny Ball before. Um, To be honest with you, I had to look him up and see if he was related um, to Nick Ball, who who fought on the other card. Um, I, I, I don't believe they are. Um, they're, they're from different parts of the UK. Um, one from West Midlands and the other is from Liverpool. Um, I, I don't think they're related. I haven't seen any relation, but Danny Ball and Nick Ball are two guys to definitely keep an eye on. Um, we're going to get into their performance, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8, uh, eight to 10 minutes in to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news. Rumors say it's the second show of the day. We may do one more, depending on how that Golden Boy card goes. Uh, but please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and also Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, um, all right, let's get into let's get into today's show. Um, I, l- l- Nick Ball is, I, I guess, the brighter prospect. So we'll 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 get into him. Um, this guy's good, man. This guy is, is really really good. Um, I don't know how tall he is. I, I think perhaps he's uh, four foot six. I mean, he's real real small. He's a featherweight, a uh, loaded uh, day of featherweight boxing. Um, he's super short, stocky. Pressure fighter, come forward. I mean, he's just relentless. High work rate, good, good power. Um, just relentless work rate. Coming after you, looking to take your head off. Um, you know, good skills. He uses his jab to get on the inside. Um, and then can, can put the right hand behind it, left hooks. Hey, the kid is good. Uh, I'm not usually a fan of um, British pressure fighters. Because I don't usually think they hit too hard. But this guy is different. Um, th- th- this guy, I'm going to give this kid a Texas card. I- I'm going to grant this kid an honorary Texas card. I'm going to call him an honorary Texan. Uh, I'm going to take Eric Molina's Texan card away from him and, and give it to Nick Ball. Um, but that was a-, a masterful, masterful, masterful performance against Ludami Lamadi. Um, I, I want to see him take a big step up. Really, I, I think he's ready for... Let's have him fight Conlon next, although, you know, that's not going to happen. Uh, but but anyone, you know, I, put him in with Mark McSayo. Um, I, you know, Eddie Hearn has Raymond Ford. But, you know, this is the other card. Yeah, this, was the, this was the BT card. Um, I think he could beat Lee Wood. Um, you know, Isaac Dogbay, Joette Gonzalez. Joette Gonzalez is the name I'd like to see him fight. Um, something like that. Joette Gonzalez, I think is a guy. I, I think he's ready. Kiko Martinez, but he could, he, he could already destroy Kiko names like that. Mark Masayo, I, I would look at, um, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to get too crazy here, but I do think he could beat Mark Masayo. Uh, uh, he, you know, he's going to get you. He's going to hit you on the chin. He's going to, it's relentless. It's nonstop. And he's just hard to keep you on. A guy who's defensively flawed, like McSayo, he can beat. Does a guy like BC Ramirez have the power to keep ball off him? I don't think so. This is going to be a tough guy to beat already. Um, That's Nick Ball. Nick Bell. Nick Ball. I'm sorry, Nick Ball. Um, Really, really high-end masterclass performance from Nick Ball. He moves to 18-0. and 0. Uh I like him a lot. I, you know, his, his height and his reach is obviously going to play against him. You know, I, again, you know, does he get to a world championship level? He's got what it takes, but we're going to have to see. Um, I, I want him to take a massive step up because, I look, he, he beat Isaac Lowe, good fighter, right? And that, that's kind of his best win so far. And then this fight, he's talented. He, he, he's going to be tough to beat. He's, he's just – he's just – 
a, a, a tough matchup, right? Like he's just a gnat that's on you, that's coming, he's swarming, putting pressure on you. Uh, I, I think he's going to break a lot of people. He got the knockout with, you know, a minute left because it's, just, it's enough, you know, like I, I don't need my fighter to get beat up this way. Uh, he's got championship pedigree. Now the next guy, Danny Ball, I'd never heard of this guy before. I had to go look him up. He's the opposite. Um, 147-pounder, welterweight, tall, rangy, super soft skills. Uh, I don't know if he's going to have the power to really make it at the world level, but i like to see him fight someone like Michael McKinson. Um, you know, he, he's a sharp counterpuncher, good talent, you know, um, real sharp counterpuncher. Real, he, and this guy is lost. I, I got to go back and watch this fight against Ekao Estuman. I've heard that name before. Um, and, and this was back uh, almost two years ago in 2021. This was on – what card was this on? This was on a BT Sport card. Uh, Brad Forster and Jason Cunningham. Caleb Johnson was on that card. Liam Davies. Nick Ball was on that card. All right. Um – I'm going to go back and watch that fight, but he, he's obviously improved a lot because this is a guy, this is a good-looking welterweight. Skills, sharp, really good counterpuncher, throws in combination, uses his jab, uses his height and reach like you'd want him to. He does everything you would want him to do. I just, does he have the natural power to really take it to the next level? I want to see him step up. You know, uh, obviously the welterweight division it, it is loaded with good fighters. I don't want to see him fight a top 50 guy next. I want to see him fight someone much closer to the top. Uh, Blair Cobb, something like that. Maurice Hooker, something like that. Um, this is an Italian guy. I don't know who's aware of him. Pietro Rossetti, good-looking welterweight, right, um, from, from Italy. I like the even – you know, how about a guy like Thomas Dorme? Is that too much, too quick? This guy's he's good. Like, I, I'm not saying – he's got a shot. He's got a shot. You know, I wouldn't put him in with uh, Tyrone McKenna. I would do. I, would, I wouldn't do Barrios or the Mean Machine just yet. Um, but he's getting he, – like, he's one more winner. I would start putting him in with those names. And that's how good I think he is. I, I think he's going to – I think he's going to get near, near, near the top. I don't know how close he can get, though. I, I'm not saying I think he's a world champion. But I don't, at least from what I've seen so far. But he's good. He's got good skills. Abel Ramos, that might be a step too much. But Delorme, Peter Rossetti, um, Ivan Gulab, names like that. I, I think he's ready. Uh, Janelson, uh Figueroa, Boca Chica. The... Uh, Showbox legend, give him a name like that. Let, let's see how he does. Let, let him, let him sink or swim a little bit. Uh, like I said, good counter puncher. He's just a crisp fighter. Clean shots. He lands clean. He lands on the button. He puts punches together. Good combinations. Good counter puncher. Just a crisp, clean fighter. So those are the two. That, that that was a pair of balls. The two balls that 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 shined brightly uh, in the UK today on each card um, on on the Conlon card and uh, with uh, Laura and Wood too. Um, I, I got some homework to do now on, on Danny Ball. I'm going to be honest. I try to stay as watch as much UK boxing as I can. I had never heard of this guy, but I was impressed. I thought he was a really good boxer, a boxer puncher, clean, good work rate, uh, good jab, crisp, clean shots from the outside, technically, fundamentally sound, good fighter. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Follow me all forms of social media. Quick hits come to you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Michael McKinson, so you can do that. Um, it is May 27th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.